Are you considering buying an investment property in or near Denver and want to know the rules? Or maybe you're just thinking about renting out your own home. Either way, you are in the right place. Now today we're talking short-term rentals. They go by a lot of different names. Airbnb, VRBO, HomeAway. I believe that one got absorbed by one of the first two. But the point is, they're all the same thing. They all just mean short-term rental properties. And this generally includes any property you're renting out for less than 30 days. So 29 days or less, short-term rental. Now, short-term rentals are all the rage right now. People love them because they're very lucrative. If you're doing a short-term rental, you're almost always able to charge a significantly higher rate than you would with a long-term rental. They're also significantly more work because you need to turn them over all the time. But that's the trade-off. So as the popularity of these short-term rentals has exploded in recent years, cities, counties, municipalities are now just beginning to catch up and establishing some boundaries. At first, there really were no rules. You could kind of do whatever you wanted, but now laws are being put into place to govern what you can and can't do. The number one thing you're going to have to do if you're operating a short-term rental basically anywhere is get a short-term rental license. If you are renting your home the more traditional way, longer than 30 days at a time, you actually don't need a license. But if you're doing Airbnb, something like that, you need a short-term rental license. And you get this from either the city or county that the property resides in. You're also gonna need to carry general liability insurance and pay a short-term rental tax. Now, most of the providers like Airbnb will just automatically deduct this tax from your earnings and pay the city. So license, insurance, taxes, fees, these are just some facts of life you're gonna have to deal with if you're operating a short-term rental. But now, let's get to the rules specifically in Denver. And let's get the big one out of the way right off the top. In Denver, if you're operating a short-term rental property, it has to be your primary residence. That's right, you can't just buy an investment property and make it an Airbnb. It can't even be your second home that you're renting out on a short-term basis in the city of Denver. I know, annoying. Now, real quick, the way I see it, there are two sides to this issue. Number one, yes, it's kind of annoying, as I said, because in a perfect world, it would be nice to just let people do what they want. But on the other hand, this has become so popular that before long, it could be conceivable that entire neighborhoods would be bought up and turned into short-term rentals and then normal people would have nowhere to live. So the boundaries are certainly understandable and overall a good thing. The primary residence rule may be a bit heavy handed, but here we are. Okay, so if you're in Denver, what are the alternatives? Well, you can obviously rent out your primary residence on a short term basis and go somewhere else for a while. If you're going on vacation or you got a second home, you can rent out that primary residence on a short term basis, basically as much as you want. Another alternative is an accessory dwelling unit, or an ADU in the biz. This is another smaller residence on the same property as, or attached to, your primary residence. So this can really be a whole bunch of different things. Anything from a full-on carriage house in your backyard to what some people would call a mother-in-law suite in your home. I wouldn't call it that because it would be a fair housing violation. ADUs are compliant with the Denver regulations and they can be a great source of rental income. They are pretty darn expensive to build, and you have to abide by all the ADU regulations and zoning laws when building. And trust me, it's a lot. Another potential downside is, well, it's another person staying on your property. Now, maybe your property is very well set up for that, but maybe it's not, in which case it could get a little weird. Totally up to your comfort level, but if you're comfortable with it and or your property can sustain it, it's a good route to go. If you're interested in building an ADU, let me know. I can point you in the right direction. Okay, so that's Denver, where the rules are fairly restrictive and cumbersome. But are the rules the same in all the surrounding areas? Well, in fact, no, they're not. So let's take a look at the Airbnb rules in some of those surrounding places. First of all, the primary residence rule is in effect for Boulder, Colorado Springs, and Golden, and a number of other places that we're just gonna gloss over. So for the sake of this conversation, all those places and anything else we don't really talk about, same deal. But here are some places around Denver where you can conceivably buy and operate a short-term rental that is not your primary residence. First up, Wheat Ridge. Currently in Wheat Ridge, there are no restrictions on having a non-primary residence short-term rental. So yeah, you can just go buy a place and start renting it out. Currently, Wheat Ridge has allotted up to 2% of its housing inventory for short-term rentals, which is actually a decent amount. Arvada, same deal. You can rent your non-primary home on a short-term basis, but there is one catch. 
you are restricted to renting it a maximum of two thirds of the year. So not amazing, but not terrible. And here's an interesting one. If you have a Denver address, but it's in Adams County, that little Adams County sliver of Denver, you can short term rent without it being your primary. It's kind of a loophole because Adams County has no short term rental restrictions. So I wouldn't go looking for a property to buy just based on this. But if you already have a property that meets these criteria, let me know and we'll figure it out. And Jefferson County allows non-primary short-term rentals on properties of one acre or more. It's got to be over an acre and you can do it. Now, Jeffco is currently at the time of this recording revisiting this requirement and the size requirement may actually drop. So stay tuned. And the other big thing everybody wants to know about is mountain towns. Can you buy a ski chalet and rent it out on an Airbnb basis? Well, Basically every mountain town within a few hours drive of Denver is revisiting their Airbnb restrictions and putting rules like these in place. Again, everything is constantly evolving, but for the sake of this conversation, basically every brand name ski town and all the towns around them on that I-70 corridor are gonna be very, very tough to operate a short-term rental that's not your primary residence. I'm sorry because I hate to kill this dream, but again, I get why they're doing it. The housing stock up there is just so low and people gotta have somewhere to live. However, if you're interested in getting creative, there are some mountain towns that still don't have these restrictions in place. There are some restrictions, but not this primary residence one. So two off the top to look at are Estes Park and Pagosa Springs. And again, the 19th caveat, everything's changing. So before you do anything, check the local rules. Or better yet, just give me a call because I'm obviously a licensed real estate broker in the state of Colorado, and I would love to help you explore your options for short-term rentals. Maybe something makes sense, maybe it doesn't. We can take a look. I wanna thank you for watching as always, and hey, if you enjoyed this video and wanted to leave a comment below, I would appreciate that. And if you're thinking of relocating to Denver, I have just released my brand spanking new Denver relocation guide. This has got everything you need to know about living in the Mile High City. Best places to go, best places to shop, my favorite events throughout the year, restaurants, everything. I will put the link to download that below. You are the best, and I will talk to you soon.